Hi, I thought that I would do a video tutorial on an issue that I was having just because it took me a couple of days to figure it out and it was so frustrating. So hopefully this will help someone else. So what had happened is I had downloaded Pro Editions of Debut Screen Capture and VideoPad and I was advised by a representative at NCH that I should up, make sure that I had updated Windows programs and an updated driver so I did those things as well and then while I was watching the debut video capture software tutorial I would open up debut so that I could watch the tutorial and look at the program at the same time and a buffer wheel would spin and then eventually the video would stop playing and I would get a message, shock, wave flash isn't responding. And I knew that it had something to do with what I had just done because my computer was operating fine before all of this. So, so what I ended up doing in the end was I thought that I would check my programs and features and see just what Shockwave did. And it just so happened when I went into the program and features, I didn't see Shockwave there. And so I decided, well, maybe that's the problem. And so I went into Adobe, downloaded this version of the Adobe Shockwave player, and that seemed to fix the problem. So basically, I started listening again to the tutorials and I would get partway done. I, I believe I was able to listen to one video at uh, one time. I was able to listen to maybe two or three. But as soon as I opened up debut, then the videos, it would happen again. I, the, the cog wheel would spin and then the message shockwave flash isn't responding would appear again. So then I started thinking maybe it was debut, but that didn't really make sense to me either. So. I started doing more research and I stumbled upon a forum discussion that talked about issues with crashing and running in your computer running sluggish after downloading and or updating programs. And they said that when you download and load and update files that the programs themselves have code written into them to actually include items in the startup and so that was, would be what would cause the problems that there were too many things running in the, the startup. And so their suggestion was to actually go to this site and it's uh, www.pacs-portal.co.uk forward slash startup underscore search Dot PHP and what this is is it's an alphabetical database for Windows startup programs so you can either check them alphabetically or you can do a search which I would recommend it's a lot faster so then what you need to do to do that search though is you need to go into the start and type start typing system and you'll notice that system configuration comes up and then you need to click into the tab startup and then what you need to do is basically go through your whole list. You, you'll probably have a different list than I do. And figure out what things need to operate in startup and what things don't need to operate and make a decision at that point as to what you want to click off because these all had check marks yesterday. So I'm just going to do one search for you so you can see how the site works. We'll do Google Drive. So we'll just go back into the program here and we'll type Google Drive, do the search. And you'll notice here that it brings it up saying X, which means definitely not required, and U, user's choice. So I decided that given that I was told that debut and uh, video pad take up a lot of, I'm not sure what word I'm looking for because I'm not a tech person, but they take up uh, basically a lot of running time or it could clog things up or slow you down. So I decided that I would take out as much as I could. So I did turn that one off. So once you go through your list and you've decided the things that you're going to stay turned, that, that you need to absolutely have turned on, 
Turn all the items off and then click apply. Mine's grayed out because obviously I didn't click anything. And then you'll press OK. And then after that you'll want to restart your computer and you will never get that shockwave flash isn't responding message again unless something of course ends up in your startup so I've been operating now for uh, two days and I haven't had any issues whatsoever so I absolutely know that that was what the problem was so I hope that helps someone and um, thank you <laughs>